All right, so in this video, we're going to be taking a walkthrough of the updated eHat device in the recently released Bitwig 2.0. So like most of the other devices, the biggest changes have been a user interface refresh. They've cleaned it up, made it look a little bit better for retina or higher resolution displays, as well as they've gone through and they've moved all of the built-in modulation sources. So in the case of the eHi hat, that was just some um, velocity timbre and pressure modulation possibilities and they've moved all of those over to the new modulators tab in every device which is found in the lower left hand corner where we can drop in things like LFOs or additional envelopes or some other kind of creative or crazy things. So the e-hi-hat device is great for making electronic hi-hat sounds. It's divided up into um, sections based upon functionality so at the top we have an envelope generator with just attack and decay then we've got a comb filter and then a high pass filter. And then we've got down below here the FM hit section. So one of the kind of additional sound makers for the E hi hat, as well as the mix dial, which is really important, and we'll come back to that one. Then we've got the hit modification section, and then our global output section where we can add additional effects for processing the output of our E hi hat, velocity, sensitivity, and width and then the overall volume of this device. Across the middle here is we have a display which kind of represents multiple parameters simultaneously. So for the most part, it's representing to us the high pass filter here in the top corner, but it also has a few other little buttons or knobs in here that represent a few of the other parameters. So we can edit some of the functions of the e hi hat here in the middle, and we'll see that as we move through. So the e hi hat has two sound sources. It has a noise source and kind of an FM, so frequency modulation hit source. And we can move or fade or mix between the two using this, this mix dial down here. So conceptually, we should really think about this mix dial as being in its own box. Um, so we can think of there being a dividing line down the middle here. So then as we start all the way on the left-hand side and I play a note, you can hear that we're only hearing white noise as controlled by our amplitude envelope in the top left corner. And then as I start to move over, that's morphing a little bit. So let's go and let's change the decay time there a little bit, as well as bring up our FM hit decay time there. And bring down our low pass filter. And now you can hear all the way over at this side, all we're hearing is this FM hit sound here, and we're no longer hearing the white noise generator. As we cruise back over to the other side, we lose that FM hit sound, and it goes fully into that noise source. So this dial is really important for determining the overall characteristics of this instrument, whether or not it's more noise-based or more FM sine tone modulation-based stuff. We'll start with just the um, noise-based side of things, so no FM hit. Which then that brings us to our amplitude envelope where we have a short attack and decay phase to this envelope, so we can see here get up to about 500 milliseconds of attack time, or more staccato, and then we've got our decay time, which can be set to be either linear or more exponential, either positive or negative. Which then, moving on from there, we get into a comb filter section, and comb filtering is using a time-delayed version of whatever audio we're, we're sending in there. So we can think of this as being a really tiny delay effect built into our e-hi-hat, which then we mix back together the original signal with the delayed versions of itself, and then by messing with that delay time, we can use phase offset cancellation. So if you think about everything as being air pressure changes over time, um, both being positive and negative, that as we mix that back together, certain components of a sound can cancel itself out by being its equal opposite, equal opposite, and we kind of get this phasey type sound into, into what's going on there as the sound kind of enforces or de-enforces itself. Um, so uh, what that sounds like then so we start with that all the way down and let's start with a little bit of positive feedback as I start to sweep up the mix. 
you can hear it kind of sounds like we're just having phase issues because that's exactly what comb filtering is. And as we adjust the feedback, how much of the signal is being fed back into these short little delay times. And then the frequency is really just the delay time itself, but it's just happening at such a rate that we're not hearing the individual repetitions of the sound. We're just hearing the frequency of it repeating over and over again. So this can have either positive or negative feedback, so either enforcing or de-enforcing itself, so uh, kind of inverting the, the sound being wrapped back around, giving us a little bit colder sound on this side, a little bit brighter sound on this side. Great, and then I'm gonna go back, remove that entirely so we don't have to hear that comb filtering. To the right of that, we then have a high pass filter with some cue that we can use to remove low frequencies from the sound or let them back in. And it doesn't go all that low. Plus some resonance. Back to a more mediocre state. Cool, so then that brings us down to the FM hit. And again, this is our additional sound source for our E hi-hat. And if we bring up the mix to bring that over, now we can set its frequency. And its decay, either short or long. And then over on the right hand side of that, we have a modification or modulator for that FM hit. Or we can have no modulation. And now we have essentially just a nice pure sine tone pumping through there. And then as we start to sweep up the amount of modulation, we're using a second oscillator to modulate the frequency of this FM hit. So we'll start with it nice and low. And you can kind of hear it sounds like vibrato. Wider and wider vibrato. And then as we increase the rate of modulation, Bringing back in our white noise, bringing in some comb filtering, reducing our decay time. Then we bring over to the uh, global output section where we can make this a little bit wider by distributing across the left and the right channels. Control our velocity sensitivity, add some audio effects, or control the overall volume. So that's the E hi-hat, again, comprised of two main sound generators, either white noise or this FM hit sound. We control the crossway back and forth between the white noise and the FM hit sound using the mix knob down there. Then the FM hit is just a sine tone generator that has its own frequency and own decay time with the addition of a modulation oscillator that allows us to modulate the frequency of that FM hit generator at a set amount in terms of how wide of that, how much frequency modulation or how wide is the vibrato and then the rate of vibrato or the rate of frequency modulation. Then all of that funnels through our attack and decay amplitude envelope generator, which can have either a linear or exponential decay time, a comb filter, which just allows us to get kind of that metallic sound in there, and then a general high pass filter plus the global output section. So that's it, e hi -hat sounds, coolness. Hope you found this video helpful. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, or leave any questions or comments you may have below. All right, thanks. Bye.